Go back, everybody. Oh, good. The name did stick. I wasn't sure if J Dung was on the top or the bottom for that, but we are in game number two. This is the losers match. Really sadly, I have to say that too, because uh, one of these guys will be eliminated from our tournaments. But we're gonna find out which one it is. So spawning the bottom left corner of the map, on the verge of defeat, he's got to bring it back. It's the blue Zerg player from Evil Geniuses, J Dong. Never writes Oz the Red Protoss, Samsung Galaxy Stork. Man, so I got, uh, of course, the computer running, and I got my windows closed and sound and fan on, all these other things. I didn't realize it's, like, monsoon rainy outside. It's been, like, 30 degrees Celsius all week. I'm so glad we finally have, like, a bit of rain. I hate this time of year. Cool story. Yeah, it is. Shout out to anyone from uh, Canada experiencing the Rifkin pains, but... Um, really folks say this, I like that Jadong went for the scout, but if you recall, Jadong, uh, okay, he's not gonna go for it. I was gonna say, he did proxy hatch, uh, during DreamHack when we cast him. Not just this sort of proxy hatch where you block out the natural, but, like, straight up proxy hatch into, uh, actual units on, like, Foxtrot. Yeah. So, wasn't sure if he was gonna try and pull that off here. Definitely would be a cool way to come back in the series. Well, he did try the, uh, the regular proxy hatch, but Stark was all on top of it. Oh, I think you was that drone. So, a pretty lackluster opener here, but with the earlier Nexus and the Gateway Expand, uh, probably just see him take that faster third. There we go, your drone's already on location for it. Mm. Yeah. No pool necessary, he got a great scout with that as well. That yeah. does give him a bit of a eco boost. Yeah. I mean, go back to that last game, I really liked the idea of everything except the Swarm Hosts. Again, I just, I don't see Jadon as a Swarm Host player, I just don't think it fits his play style, personally. I mean, a lot of players are just doing it against Protoss, no matter what. I don't know. What are your thoughts? I, I, I mean, I this this is the map I want to see Link Hydra. This is the map I want to see Jadon with that creep spread. I've never really liked Jadon as a swarm host player, even when it was the type of like aggressive swarm host or you know light number of swarm hosts or any variation. Honestly, it just never seemed to be a, a unit that really fit his style. But he's not as bad as he once was. I mean, whenever. Like Swarmos came into Jadong's production tab like in like six months ago. I just assumed he was gonna lose. Like he was like that so bad with it. Yeah. He'd like look good and then he just like wouldn't be able to do anything against like you know the uh, harass or anything like that. And yeah, everyone was... has really figured out that's that, that's how you deal with it. Yeah, there's several instances of that during the Acer Team Strike Up too, where he'd come out and we'd be like, oh, sick, it's Jadong. Here comes the aggression, and it's like, oh, floppy Swarmos. Man, Evil Jesus did not actually do too well in that. Uh... <laughs> That was pretty sad to see. But, uh, okay, we got a Stargate once again coming out of Stork. If it's not broken, don't fix it. The Phoenix has worked out pretty well last time, but, uh, I kind of feel like that really played well to it being Deadwing. There's certainly still ways you can use them on Overgrowth to great effect, but I don't know. I just, I, I don't think this is a map where he's going to get away with a million Warpins in the main with Phoenixes to protect that Warpism, you know? Like, that was pretty absurd just how much damage Jadon constantly took in his main from what was like, oh, you know, a good, probably like, 5,000 minerals worth of zealots by the end of the game? <laughs> Probably. Well, even if it's not exactly the same map, you know, the same benefits, Stork did have success with the build. So, yeah. usually when you do, you don't feel shy about doing it again. It's actually going to be an Oracle opener. Ooh. And it could just only be an Oracle. I really think it is. I mean, the Stargate in the front lines is kind of that, that bluff. You're like, okay, don't go mutas because I already got a Stargate. The Oracle opener itself makes a little more sense due to the fact that this is overgrowth. Again, the map you can kind of better use it on, I feel. So, overall, I, I like this choice. And Jinong, by the way, you know, he did see this. It's not like someone's going to catch him off guard. In fact, he even saw the Oracle being made. Yeah. Well, we have Stork going for a Twilight Council, like, really early. Um, this is actually so early. I wonder if it's for DTs. You know, you need that Blink Stalker all in versus Departure on Catalina, but I think even that's where the council was a little bit later. Not sure about that. I'm gonna zap off a couple of drones here. Hardly the end of the world. But, Blink. I mean, the thing is, regardless of what he follows this up with, the thing is, the Oracle is gonna give him a lot of, I guess, map vision, which is nice. I mean, its speed itself, physically scouting things, plus the revelation it gets, I mean, do you remember, when, like, how long did it take, seriously, for us to start seeing Protoss players regularly use Revelation? That was kind of one of those what-if and once in a blue moon scenarios, but now it's become such an important part of the play, of the play style, because you just, you always see your opponent's army, like, 100% of the time. Yeah. 
J-Dog hopefully will start looking for that third very soon. I'll think about sending an overlord in to see what's going on, because Sork is using that two-base blink all in again. Last time departure had a really good composition against it, like Ling Hydra. Yeah. You can just, you know, you know, have any amount of it is actually very, very good. Ling Roach, it still can pull it back. We're like, you know, sure, but it's a lot harder. Yeah, he fully walls us off too. So, I mean, he's definitely going ham with us, not worry, not wanting to worry about a counterattack. But here's the thing, Jadong already stopped droning. Jadong's already making units for this. So whether he realized this was coming or not, uh, especially with that pylon being placed down, he's he should have an adequate defense. I'm going to be very upset if he doesn't. Because uh, when you stop droning this early, I mean, 41 drones is okay to stop on, but it's more that you're going to have a lot more roaches and a lot more lings than you normally would. And there's not a lot of sentries in this attack, and it is primarily those blink stalkers. I think Jadong would have wanted to oh, actually... Oh, nice pitch from behind. Oh, oh, a recall. Oh, there you go. If Stork doesn't recall, he's going to lose so many stalkers here. Why is he waiting for the recall? He doesn't have the energy. That's why 75 energy in his mothership core. Oh, zombie grab. This is not going well. He can't even get back home oh. inside the base. He walled himself out. This is... This is so great out of Jadon. I mean, it's not. It's not. I don't. I think might, really... it's borderline game. It's borderline game ending. There's kind no of, cannon. Yeah. There's no force yeah. fields. He's warping in stalkers. You, you can never really break a Protoss's natural, you know, like this early, not even easy, if they don't easy, have sentries. But... but like, yeah. I mean, there's not really much that Sword can do. You can maybe try and do like a follow up all in, hope that Jadon gets like really complacent. But yeah, that's that's a stretch too. So picks up all the pylons on the map. He completely beats that back, and he started droning. Like as soon as those lings got a surround, like that's when the drones started coming back into play. And Jadon now sets himself up for a fantastic economy. And Stork, should he ever decide to try and take a third, which I really don't think he would. Like you kind of have to all in at this point, right? Um, yeah, should he even try and take a third? Like Jadon would knock that down. So at this point for Jadon, he's moving up to the Hydras. Again, the biggest sort of I guess detriment to Stork's army it is it is mostly just blank stalkers. There's no sentries in this force. Well, that's not good or anything. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that time it was just so, so sick. I was, like, really worried. I think a Stork, you know, okay, so Blink wasn't done. He didn't have a recall. That was all really, really terrible. If he was actually the one in control, even if Jadong was preparing, if he was preparing defensively, I think Stork can actually do something with it. And it looks like it is going to be an attempt at a follow-up all-in. Right, so Jadon's actually setting up for a small counterattack, expecting it to be a third, but there's not, and it's fully walled off once again. So Lings might eventually break that wall, uh, maybe ten of your own, maybe. But I mean, Jadon's got those hydras coming. Uh, again, like all you need is like four force fields to make sure that this base actually becomes the big force field itself. You lock your opponent out of defending this, but it's just blank stalkers. So I don't, I don't think this is gonna. I, I, if this works, I'll be upset. This is what I call balance wide. <laughs> <laughs> You're upset all the time in this game, man. I'm always well, upset. It's because I'm passionate. Ugh. Sure, sure, sure. If it was Roach Ling, he might have a chance. But the Hydra's coming out. They're going to have their range soon. In fact, plus one missile weapons is also starting yeah. to finish up. That's what's really going to just, like, you know, yeah, seal the deal here for Jadong. Stork, uh... Well, he's all in, as you said. This is the dedication he's forced out. Time work goes down, wasted, as he walks away from it. No force fields in this army. I mean, you're a Zerg player, you see this many stalkers, I and mean, you know there's blink, but you're like, oh, there's no force fields? That's when you just start, like, rubbing your hands with the invisible soap like a like an evil, evil, well, evil genius. Whoa! <laughs> Connecting those dots. Um, like a villain, though. But okay, second time warp goes down. No more energy on the Mothership Core, which means no time warp potential in Zombie Grub. He is getting it's slaughtered despite these blinks. Unless your core gets picked off, stalker count falling rapidly, still in 22, holding strong with another big warp, and roaches though soaking the hits for these hydras as they stutter into this army like a Terran player. This is a not looking good for Stork. Solid G attempt, man, after the uh, terrible, terrible start, but yeah. I think that was 